Afternoon guys, we're here, I'm Alan and this is the Coffee Vanners and we're at Thornbrook Barn just outside of Ingleton. So we're going to take you for a walk around the campsite. I'm here with John, he's a good friend, uh, purely because he's been to this site a lot more than we have. Well, this, yeah, our, this is our first time here, so you've been here how many times? I couldn't count, we've been coming on and off about five years, so... Probably 12, 15 times now. So we've it's seen, one of our favourites. So you've seen how, how the site's developed because it started off as a five pitch CL yeah, little, little, and it's sort CL. of grown a bit from there. Okay. So what we're going to do is take you for a walk around the site. Ali's making dinner with she Craig. With Craig. <laughs> and and we're, hopefully we'll have some decent hopefully, food. Hopefully, because we're, we're back. a bit vanished. Uh, but, but this is the site, so take a walk with us. I'll turn you around just to give you the details of the site. Well, how far are we from Kirby Lonsdale? From Kirby Lonsdale, we ran about five miles. So there you are. So literally, if you look at the map and you look at the corners of Kirby, of Cumbria, uh, North yeah. Yorkshire and Lancashire, it, they all meet on like a corner, which is Kirby Lonsdale, yeah. isn't it, in essence? Ten miles from the M6. Yeah. So this is the site. Come along with us. I'll just show you the details before we go, and then we'll take a wander around the site. And this is it. This is the details of the site. It's an independent site. So if you want to stay here, cracking site right on the edge of the Yorkshire Dales. Thornbrook Barn, touring caravan site, and that's the web address, thornbrookbarn.co.uk. Right, John, tell us a bit about the site over the years. Uh, over the, we've been coming for about four to five years. It has developed quite a lot since we've been coming. Uh, as Alan mentioned before, it started off as a small CL site, um, which is what they intend, initially wanted. Uh, but since they started, they've realised they wanted a, a bigger site, so they have developed. Uh, they currently now have 42 pitches, which the majority is fully serviced pitches. Uh, with around six standard pitches. Uh, in the last year, they have developed and gone into lodges now. So you can hire a lodge complete with a hot tub, uh, which we will show you as we walk down the path. And of course, it's in the, uh, you can see in the background there, hopefully. Good old Ingleborough. Don't know if you can see it there. Try and lift the gimbal up so you can see. Yes, they are sheep farmers. Have we got Ingleborough in the background there, between the trees? Difficult to see in this light, to be honest, John. We are October and... Not the yeah, best. it's not the best time of year, is it? October time. But... This is one of our favourite sites and it has been a pleasure to show Alan and Ali, our favourite. Right, we'll take a walk up the drive. It's the owner's house. Not seen them, to be honest. You no, know more about um, them than me. Prior to COVID, when we arrived on site, we would uh, pull up just around the corner here and we would go down to the owner's house and we would book in. Um, you have your welcome conversation, you have a welcome pack. But due to COVID, unfortunately, um, it has changed slightly where you book prior and you have an email before you arrive which will notify you of your pitch, where you're going and where to get your information. So you do not see the owners as much as you once did. Yeah, it was all it was all like allocated pitches. So yes. we were told we were on pitch one and we kind of pulled in and it was dark. and That's we kind of just so, drove down and, and that's it. And we've not seen the owners at all, unfortunately. So prior to COVID, we would park here and we would have a little walk down to the owner's shop, uh, owner's house, sorry, and um, where we would be welcome to the site. And, and of course, it's all it's all, it's all it's all online now, isn't it? You get it's, you get the email that tells you where your pitch online. is. You get the yeah. site map. You get all the details of when you can arrive, when you've got to leave, and so now to say the honest, we've uh, 
we have spoken to a couple of times since we've been here this day. Um, they, clean the, they clean the toilets and showers twice daily. So we, we have seen them a couple of times. We've had a conversation as we normally do. Uh, very welcoming as usual. Not been into the toilets yet. We're using everything in the caravan. Just as we pass, if you get here really late, they have a, a night hookup. Electrical point, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that's, uh, you know, obviously so you're not disturbing the site late on at night. And we see the first of the pictures over this side. This is the newest tourist part of the site, the tourist caravan. And these are all fully serviced, aren't they? All these are fully serviced that you see at the moment. It was uh, started to be developed uh, two to three years ago, up, the, up here. So it's still relatively new. Right, there we are. Right, yes. so we'll make a, make a move on to the main part of the site. Uh, something that's really uh, good from our point of view is there's no gates on the site. No, but it's all, but the entrance is all covered by CCTV. It is, yes. That was a new addition around two years ago. The CCTV once they started to expand the size. Uh, so we've got we've got the cameras looking at all levels of the pitches, yes. plus we've got that magnificent all singing and dancing camera at the top, so yes. they can they can see and zoom in on on things with that so as mentioned earlier to the right we've got the newest development of the tourist caravan site and to the left we've got the original six van site right so we'll just uh we'll just pull around to the right you can see that's a motor home service point so you can come and dump your waste in your motorhomes caravans and camper vans if you've got on board tanks and then we've got the... And to the left is the half-developed new um, rubbish and Elson points. They are halfway through building this building. It will be a fully enclosed building when it's finished. And to the front of us, we've got two Elson points. Take a quick look. Just want to say, this is a family caravan site. Blood eats... It's a family caravan site that is suitable for just couples as well, or adult only. Uh, very, very well organised, isn't it, from the owner's point of view? Yeah, very organised. So, yeah. so they are strictly no ball games around the site. And as you see, as we walk around the site, you'll see uh, just how well it's set out. So we'll look at pitches one to six. We're on pitch one which was the original site when it first opened. The original CL. Yes, six pitch site van. So you can see the middle circle there and the and this pitches around. What is absolutely unbelievable is we pulled on what time? Seven o'clock, half past seven just, last night? Just gone seven last night you pulled up. Reverse onto the pitch and side to side levelling. It was, was perfect. pitch perfect, wasn't it? It was. It was, it was the perfect pull-on. We literally reversed on, put the level on, and it was nothing. Yeah. You know, it was bang on in the middle, wasn't it? Throughout the five years that we've been coming to this site, I would say that we've been on about six different pitches, and every pitch that we've been on, personally, we've not had to level side to side. So you've just got the front to back, the front, front to, to back, back levelling. So that's the first six pitches, which is around this first circle, and it's labelled there, pitches one to six, which is absolutely fantastic. And I've got to say, stop saying fantastic because all my videos, I'm, I say things are fantastic, <laughs> fantastic done. <laughs> Here, move on. Right, just to give you an idea of the size of the pitches, this is a fully serviced pitch. So on that, you'd quite easily get a seven metre van, wouldn't you? Yes. Yep. Massive, you get a bit of full size only on there on your car. A full size only and plus your car, yes. Yeah. And you can see yourself just how level it is. So moving that way, we've got just the one motor home. And then the rest is down the bottom, isn't it? Yes, take a walk down to the bottom. We will. And we'll take you for a look around the facilities oh, while we're down this way as well. Lock. 
throughout the years we've uh, we've actually stayed down here ourselves and um, we've stayed in this pitch that you can see a grey motorhome again a level pitch just want to say out of 2021 the pitches are 15 pound a night for a yeah. hey, all right so 15 pound a night for a standard pitch which is sort of this standard size they're all they're all big pitches uh, and if you want a fully serviced pitch there 20 pound a night 25 pound a night but but if you look at the you look at what you're getting you just really can't complain and the good thing is with these is the drain is at the level of the pitch so you're not gonna have the problem of trying to get your drain up any sort of ramp or up any level before you put it in it's all this nice gravel we've not, because we're in october uh, there isn't many awnings up at the moment there's not many uh, seasonal pitches here. There is four altogether on the whole site of 42 pitches of seasonal pitches. Um, right. Um, as we're down at the bottom here, we have stayed down here several times ourselves, including at Christmas time. It is a rather a bit of a sun trap down at the bottom. Yeah, so, if you, you can feel it, can you? You come down the hill, the, the wind, the wind drops because of the trees and the levels, and so, it's just totally sheltered, actually, isn't it? Is, pictures that we can see right now we have actually spent a couple of winters here including christmas and enjoyed very much and with a view like that what couldn't be better so there's ingleborough in the background if you fancy a walk up the top of there three peaks the challenge is to do three peaks in 12 hours ingleborough penny Ghent, and wernside a nice walk 22 miles 12 hours Done it a few times. So when was this expanded to? Um, well, we've been coming for five years and this was already developed when we came. Right. So this part of the site, we assume, was around about six years ago. We've talked to the uh, owners. And actually... you, may, you may, if you've got a motor home, as you can see there, got the motor on the Lenko ramps there, the triples. You may need a, a little bit of side to side, depending on which pitch you're on. Uh, obviously, something worth talking to the owners about if you were going to book this site, just to make sure you can uh, be set up, ready to uh, to arrive. Nice back running through the middle of the. Site. Another site. It is. Now, always nice to have the sound of water, isn't it? It is lovely. And and we were sat this morning listening to the owls. Mm. A lot of wildlife. A lot of wildlife in this part of the woods, isn't there? Maybe notice that uh, with the area we um, there is not much. They're not allowed light pollution, so. Uh, th that's something you also need to think about if you're going to book this site. Is, is it is we think a conservation area so as a result there's very little light pollution there's no lights on site at all is there no. so all yeah we, we have got lights at the at the facilities block these are on all day and all night so you're not going to miss that but from your pitch you do need to ensure you've got a torch so what have we got the washing up area so that's a quick look at the wash facilities all around the site of as always we've got the fire points as well so you, you're in the knowledge that that stuff is available hand sanitizing that's a covid thing and also the wash facilities information room now we've got the site and local information room i'm just going to show you this purely because i'm fairly local to the area originally so you you can see there we've got the the details ingleton is here site is literally where the blue dot is there and all around you've got the walking cycling cycling is phenomenal around here isn't it it is it's 
Popular. You know, whether you're going north to the How Guilds and Sedba, or whether you're going south through Low Bent and, K yeah. and Ray and on to Caton and the Loom Valley, it's absolutely fantastic it's around here for cycling. And in fact, we've got two miles down the road, we've got a specialist cycling shop. Yeah, um, there is. You're absolutely right. You, in fact, yeah, yeah. if you come on the A65 from the M6 over to the site, you'll pass the, what's it called, the cycling hub. Something like that. Or something of that nature. So if you need I'm anything cycle-wise, that's available. And we've got all the information that's available locally as well. How far are we from Ribblehead? What, 10, 15 minutes drive? Something like that, yeah. It's not a million miles away, no, is it? Not. So we've got So we've got Ingleton on the doorstep, which is basically where we are. And you move and you go for, head over towards Hawes. You've got the White Scar Caves. Which is a good place to visit. Yes, that's uh, a couple of miles around the corner. Yeah, and then we move on Ribblehead Viaduct, top of Dentdale, Dent, uh, and we've got two toilet facilities. Obviously, we're not going to go in the mails. Uh, the Disable looks as though it's on. Is that on radar key? It is, yes, the Disable key, yes. Yeah, so that's a radar. And, the and then we've got the gents. Well, I'm going to take you in, but I may cut it short depending on if anyone's in. Right, we're not going to show you the toilets at this time because they're they're fairly busy. But we have but we have got the drinking water and waste chemical and the grey waste yeah. outside. Just want to show you this bottom level because that's what I see fantastic. And that's the latest accommodation to the site is lodges. We currently have three in place. Let's have a wonder up. Supposed to. Uh, ah. which is restricted for lodges <laughs> only. Right, we want to have a walk up. Just like, I suppose just <laughs> it's like priv privacy. privacy and all the rest of it. The lodges are on the website. I'm going to drop the link in the description below uh, because all the photos from the lodges. So if you're coming here with your camper van, caravan, motor home, and, and you're bringing friends or you're bringing family, that there is three lodges here. And yes. I think that how many more are planned? Plan, uh, plan of mission for three more, which are currently underway of under. Yeah, they've got the exterior walling and stuff done, haven't they? Yes. So, uh, but all the all the information and all the photos are on the website. So if you want to come and stay here, bring your family, get a lodge, and then go and chill out in a hot tub. Yes. Because they are just. <laughs> we are contemplating the Christmas house house. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. Kind of I'm not surprised. I can see the benefit of lodging. Right guys, we're going to take a quick look just up the caravan site. We're going to call it quits there. And that is it, Thornbrook Barn at Ingleton in North Yorkshire. This, for what we did this week, was to ring John and Craig and find out where they were. We headed over, we're staying here for the weekend. And to be honest, we've never found a nicer site. Absolutely brilliant. What are your thoughts? It is one of our favourite sites. We're here, like I say, at least twice a year. And we, we haven't found a site that we would like more, basically. So it will be, it is our one of our favourites. So I can't say more than that. This is John. He's given us a fantastic look at the site. We, it's, it's just really nice, isn't it? It is. We, we believe it is, yes. We you know, recommend to anyone. So would you say this was a couple site or a family site or a walker site? What's the... Definitely couples and walkers. Families are welcome. Uh, although, to There be isn't honest, a lot of facilities, is there? no facilities on site for young children. Um, but if you're interested in walking and exploring the local area, it is perfect for families as well. Right, guys, I'm going to thank John because he's an absolute star for joining me on the video and, thank you, and coming on our channel. What we're going to do now is we're going to go and get a bite to eat. Join Ali and we're Craig. We're a bit vanished, yes. <laughs> and Hopefully they have it ready for us with a glass of wine. And it's going to be a glass of wine. Hopefully. Absolutely superb. Thanks, guys. You take it easy. Take care. We'll catch up with you later. Thank you. Ta-da.